Hello and welcome to June. You guys, the windows are open today and I apologize if you can hear road noise. Guaranteed, we're gonna hear some motorcycles cause that's what they do. They specifically like to drive by my apartment. But it was 85 degrees at 10 a.m. So, <clears throat> whew, it's hot, it's hot. And this girl has not bought an air conditioner for this living room yet. So <laughs> let's get into the June budget. I cannot believe it's June already. I'm so excited. Not much has changed because when you are operating off the same budget for years in a row, you get kind of comfy with what you got. But a couple things have changed, which I will explain as we go through. For now, let's just jump into the numbers. All right, so here's the spreadsheet. You guys know I use Google Sheets. For those of you who might be new here, there are some line items that most people have that I don't have here in my budget as we go through, which are car insurance and cell phone. And that is because I pay for those annually, one lump sum, and they are paid for with my annual expenses sinking fund. So just keep that in mind as we go through my line items. But we always start at the top with income. Currently, my highest income right now is my W-2, and I am updating that as a goal of $4,050 going forward just because I do have a new job as of the end of February, and so it's been variable the last few months as I've gotten things set up like my 401k and my HSA and all my other deductions. So now I'm totally, I know exactly what my take home pay is going to be. So $4,050 a month. My next income is my rental income. Again, if you're new here, I have one rental property. It is in the Midwest and it brings in $459.24 per month. As you can see from the note, that's rent minus property management minus the mortgage. What's left is $459.24. I save all of that. Uh, you definitely want to be saving at least a percentage of that for repairs, vacancy, rental property things. YouTube, I have just a goal of hitting the $100 payout threshold every month. And then support, I have added as a line item this month since, well, I actually added it in for May since, added it in April. <laughs> But that has been growing because you guys are amazing and generous. So I am absolutely wanting to capture what you guys have been graciously, graciously deciding to gift me with. So I have no goal for that since it's not a goal. It's just something that you all asked for the option to do. And then for my expenses, my biggest expense is always my rent, $15.25 a month. I pay very low. For this area, I got very lucky. I have a landlord who lives in Amster Amsterdam and he just, it is like a tooth and nail fight for rental units right now. So I am very lucky with that number. However, I am trying to house hack so I can reduce that even further. So if you are new here, stay tuned for that in the coming months, year, I don't know, doesn't matter. Electricity, 60 bucks. It's probably gonna be a little bit more, whatever. Internet's always 59.99. And then Mohila is my student loan servicer, all federal, all with Mohila, still at a $0 payment. As you guys know, that could change. Or I guess maybe we're, we might hear what's going on with student loans in June. We might not. Time will tell. Either way, I don't expect to be starting that up. Those monthly payments have what is it 60 or 90 days or whatever from their Supreme Court decision which is kind of supposed to start in June no it's not happening anytime soon Jim 15 bucks a month Netflix is $19.99 a month and then I have a groceries and food budget of 500 a month which yes is kind of a lot for one person but inflation and I treat myself a little bit gas and car wash I budget 150 Probably should have increased that for June since I am driving all over the place for concerts this month. Whatever. 150 pet supplies, 25 I need to set up a sinking fund for those because it's like one month will be zero dollars and the next month will be 80. You never know. But my massage. Y'all, I said I was going to get a massage in May and I never did. And for June, it's just like, <laughs> there's so much going on in June. I. I don't foresee that I'll schedule myself one. It used to be a self-love, self-care thing for me, but 
I am finding that in so many other ways these days, so it's just not a high priority for me, but we'll see. Investing, I have upped this to 200 a month. Um, I'll explain why in a second. Donating, I always try to donate, no, I always do donate $50 a month. I'm gonna try to save $600 this month, which should be the last $600 that I need to fill my emergency fund which 600 is less than what I've been saving in previous months, which is why I've upped my investing. So if my savings are, sinking funds are loaded, my emergency fund will finally be loaded, then I can start having fun and dumping more money into f my fun sinking fund, previously called travel, whatever, and start investing more. So I say I don't care about my retirement accounts and I kind of don't, but I will start probably putting a bit more into my Roth. Um, now that I'm saying that, it's reminding me that I didn't say at the beginning my W-2 take, take home goal, or my W-2 goal is take home. So that is after my 401k is deducted and my HSA. I always get my company match wherever, I, wherever I've been working, I will, contribute to my 401k up to the company match because that is free money always do that but I'm just this investing here I am just talking about in addition to that and then spending you guys I am how we are now six months into this low buy year I am trying to personally keep spending under $300 a month for things that is material spending so I'm still sticking with that $300 budget. What I'm not capping myself on or what I'm not, I don't have a set budget for every month is fun stuff, experiences. So that being said, in the other category, I put $800 because I am going to Nantucket in August for one night to see my favorite band play on Nantucket and the room for that one night on a Wednesday night is like minimum of $800 so the concert ticket was cheap the room won't be but oh my gosh it's like it's gonna be my one splurge for the summer I'm very much looking forward to it so yay and then below that is just my debt, which you guys know is just my student loans. I owe $160,250.22, which actually that's not completely accurate because I did request a refund back at the year, couple year, a year ago. I don't even know how long ago. And I actually got it after I had forgotten about it. So they refunded me everything I paid during the pandemic towards my student loans, which was $25,000. I'm looking over there because I put the check up on my vision board. 25000 something dollars. So they gave that back to me and my balance went up. So it's actually at 185000 whatever, whatever. But whatever. I'm just going to put that money right back on when this forbearance ends. So I just left it. And then I have saved... In addition to that $25,000 refund, I had saved up another twenty eight ish now at $29,000 um, to put towards student loans as well. But you guys know lately I've been talking about getting a rental property number two in the form of a house hack to reduce my monthly rent and just yada, 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 get property number two under my belt. So I may end up using some of this money for that. I don't know, whatever. I'm just leaving it all alone for now. And then the more exciting part is my sinking funds, which at the top is my emergency fund. As you can see, $9,400 we left that off with as of Tuesday. 600 to go, and I'll be at my $10,000 goal. That is so cool. I had it there once, my rental property needed it, building it back up. My car vet and medical sinking fund is still sitting at 2,000 as well as my annual expenses. And then once that emergency fund's taken care of, this fun and Roth, <laughs> these items will get attention. Finally, I'm so excited. So 
Yay. That's it for the spreadsheet. Um, again, I know I went through that really quick, but it's you guys are seeing the same budget over and over, more or less, um, with a couple changes here and there. What's really exciting is going to be the May budget review, which should be out hopefully in a couple days. <laughs> should be. Uh, May was a crazy month. It was a really big month. Like 100% thanks to you guys. So I cannot wait to share that. Be on the lookout, like I said, in the next couple days for that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down in the comments. How's your June budget looking? Anything crazy coming up for you guys? I love to hear about it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you hopefully in a couple days.